Hello everyone and welcome to the course. I am Dr. Point and I will be your course facilitator. So we're going to be on this journey together. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I know that for most of you, this is your first course in your program. So congratulations. I am truly looking forward to working with each and every one of you as you navigate this process. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with this brief uh, preview to the course. So the goal of this presentation is to acclimate you to navigating the classroom and accessing those available resources. I am aware that you probably had some kind of um, orientation, but I wanted to make sure that I highlight those things that are going to be really effective for you as you navigate this particular course. So the first thing you see here is your landing page. On your landing page, you will see the name of the course, you'll see your course faculty, and I am Dr. Point, your instructional faculty member. I serve as the liaison between you and the assessment faculty. So most of your communications will actually be done with me. You, it's very rare that you will have any interactions with um, your assessment faculty, in this case, is Dr. Reddit. So every question that you have, even if it's um, clarification on feedback from Dr. Reddit's grading, you come through me with that and I will get that information for you. We are trying to streamline the process so that you only have one place to go for information and that would be through me. So any questions you have at all regarding your grading, the feedback, um, when will the grades be posted, any of those things, you can direct those questions to me. Underneath that, um, I want to uh, draw your attention to where it says books and tools. Books and tools are going to be where you're going to find important information, such as your course syllabus. Also, you're going to find those resources that are so invaluable. Um, the library resources is one of those things. So we're going to talk about that as the course goes on, but I wanted to make sure that you at least knew where to find them. Now you can hardly see at the bottom, it's going to say course schedule. That's where you're going to find your live classroom links. So we have these live classrooms that takes place every week. So in this particular course, you're going to have a Tuesday morning session and you're going to have a Wednesday evening session. It is so important that I point out to you that these are going to be the exact same information. The reason why we have more than one session is because some people can attend in the morning while others cannot. So if you can attend in the morning, I encourage you to attend the morning session. If you can attend in the evening, attend the evening session. You do not have to attend both. We're just trying to make sure that we offer it in the morning and in the evening so that we can get as many students who can attend as possible attending. Now, you're also going to find that you may not be able to attend either. Some students aren't able to attend either the morning or the either evening because of their other commitments, and that's perfectly fine as well. That's the reason why we have the um, archives, the recordings that are going to be automatically located in Teams. And we're going to show you that in another video. I just want to make sure that you're able to access that. So I'll be sending these videos out just to make sure that I have you on the same page. Page. Everyone is on the same page and everyone feels comfortable navigating the process. So I'll show you exactly how you will get the um, recordings, how you'll be able to listen to the recordings if in fact you're not able to attend either of the live sessions. Okay. So on the right of the screen, what you'll see here is where you see getting started. Right beneath that, you'll see a learning plan. The learning plan is what you want to make sure that you're completing because what that does, it allows you to see the remainder of the course. And we'll talk about that in just a moment. Then you see live classroom assignments and course project assignments. These are all so important. So let's go right into how these um, work out for you, what you need to do with that. So. It also has a section in there if you need help. If you need help of any kind, first you want to look at the personal support center if you need technical help. So anything that has to do with um, the system not working or you're not able to access Teams or anything like that, you want to go to the PSC, right? the personal support center. They're open 24-7 and they're excellent at what they do and that's their phone number. I always tell students, I encourage students just to write that number down because what if you're not able to access the classroom, you, you don't want to be um, not able to access the number for the support team as well. Um, you also need to um, contact me. If you have any questions, as I said before, my email address is here and my phone number is also listed there. 
So if you need academic assistance, we'll talk about the library and learning ser services as well. But let's just focus on the fact that you can, well, for technical issues, contact the PSC. For any other issues at this point, I really want to direct you to contacting me, okay? Okay, so the learning plan is the key to locating your coursework. So you would click on the learning plan. It's very brief. It doesn't count as in terms of grades either, but it does allow you to open up all of the other assignments in the classroom. So it's so important that you start with the learning plan immediately. So you will see another section that says live classroom assignments. Now you will click on each one of these once the videos are available. Either you're attending a live session and then you can go in and say, yes, I attended, or you're listening to the recording and you can go in and say, yes, I listened to the recording. And then you click down, you submit that and you earn those points for that. And it's, and again, these are going to be easy points to earn. Now, if you do not complete the classroom assignments, it's okay. They're not mandatory, but these are definitely encouraged, very much encouraged. So, um, so you want to make sure you're doing that because you get points for it. And it also gives you the information that you need in order to succeed with your deliverables. So either you're going to be in attendance or you're going to be listening to the recording. And in either case, you're going to do just fine. All right, so then you see course project assignments. This is where you're going to find your deliverables. This is so important that you understand how to locate those deliverables. You will click on a course project assignments and in there, it'll tell you module one deliverable, module two deliverable, module three deliverable, and so on. So you will have seven deliverables in the course, okay? So it, you, you work at your own pace in this course, but I highly recommend that you stay um, in the course stay in the course as many days as you possibly can try to do one deliverable per week this is an 11 week course but you remember you're going to have to leave some time to make corrections in the event that you need to make corrections because you will have up to three attempts on every single deliverable to increase your score and we'll talk about what's required in another video okay all right, so again, this is what you're going to find in this particular course. Deliverable one is about causes and consequences of events in healthcare. Deliverable number two, financing and reimbursement model. So this is what you're going to be finding. So what you want to do is click on where it says deliverable one, causes and consequences, and it'll open up the instructions for you. So this is what the scenario and the instructions look like for deliverable one. I'm not going to read through the entire thing, but I just wanted to point out to you, this is what is going to open up for you. And it's going to tell you exactly what your deliverable will be, your output will be. In this case, it's a PowerPoint. So you want to make sure that you're reading through the scenario, everything here is scenario based, and then you're following the instructions. This is what the grading rubric looks like. Please make sure that you're looking at the rubric because every grade that you receive will be based on exactly what you see on the rubric. So this is great because it tells you exactly what it is you need to do. Then you'll get a grade from your assessment faculty and she will further give you um, more information, she'll give you more information, um, further details on what it is you need to do to improve your score. So if you get an, a three, which is a B, you might say, well, I think I can do a little bit better. Let me see what the grading instructor says, what the assessment faculty is saying. And I can probably do what it is that she's saying, so I can increase to an A. If you get an R, which is a, um, an R means you have to resubmit. R means resubmit, okay? So that means that there's areas that you will need to improve upon in order to get a passing score. So a passing score is a two, three, or four. An R means you have to redo it, okay? To find feedback, to know exactly what it is that the assessment faculty is telling you you need to do, when you see these boxes, these purple boxes in your um, grade area, in your grade area, these tells you that that's feedback in there. That's what the purple boxes mean. That's feedback. So click on those, and it will tell you exactly what you need, and it'll be for each and every criterion, right? So for criteria number one, you'll get feedback for it. And if you need to make any changes, the feedback will be clearly stated in these boxes, with these purple boxes. Okay, let's see if I can move on. <laughs> okay, so it looks like, like, okay, so it looks like it wants to 
pause there for a second. So let's just see what we can do to get moving on to the next. Okay, so that was it. That's the reason why it was pausing. Okay, so these are just the things I wanted to cover for deliverable one for week one. So if you find that you need any further assistance with what I just covered, please don't hesitate to reach out. But I'm gonna keep on sending these videos your way so that you can feel really, really comfortable. I know at first it's intimidating. I understand that. But if you stick with it, if you just listen to these videos, if you attend the live sessions or at least listen to the recordings, you're going to be just fine. Many students have sat where you are and they felt the same way, the same intimidation that you feel now. Many of those students have gone on, graduated, and in their careers or had that promotion that they were looking for. So please do not give up. Know that it's going to be a little bit of a learning curve because it's probably a different type of program than you're used to, but stick with it, okay? And I'm here to help you with that. So again, my name is Dr. Point and I will be your co-pilot on this journey. Looking forward to working with you. Thank you so much.